Welcome back guys, today we create another 2D character with Inkscape and we want to prepare this character to make a rig in Blender. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we open a new document in Inkscape and then we drop in our character blueprint. Okay, and then we open a new layer, name it head and start creating the head here with the path tool. Along the head here, the hair, we make a different layer. And then we click here on the color part and then we choose a color for the peel. Maybe with a little bit of tint. Like, uh, yeah, look like that, looks good. And here, this is the border line. We make a black border. And now the transparency we can change a little bit to edit the path around the head so that we got a nice smooth and a clean shape around the head. And after that we create another layer and name this layer hair. Do the same thing here with the path tool we edit a shape around the hair. Just change the color, something like a brown. I think that looks great. Then we turn off the transparency and then we edit the shape. Okay, here, can edit a little bit. And then we create another layer for the neck. Okay, for this kind of character, a neck is not very important. You can do the same thing here with the body. We can use this, uh, but okay, let's create a neck so that we got one, okay? And when we get the neck, then we change the color. We use the same color, like the head color from the peel. And after that, we edit the shape from the neck. And then the next layer we create is for the body. At first, we start with the shirt. It's always the same thing and when we get the shirt then we uh, make the jacket. And then it comes to the lower part. We create the pants at the first here the part from the hips. And then the right and the left legs. We name it uh, point L and point R for left and right. Same thing we do with the foot. Foot point L and foot.r and then back to the upper body and now we create the arms in that case we can create only one arm and after that we can duplicate this arm and put it on the left side and the left arm we have to move behind the upper body parts and then let's make a quick check that all the layers are correctly and that looks really good. And now let's make a sunglasses, a cool sunglasses for this character. Okay, and then we create a mouth and a nose. And then we can organize and clean up the layers a little bit. And now I see we have to fix something here at the legs. It isn't good connected and here something Okay, now create a new layer for the hand on the right side. Change the color into the peel color and then edit the shapes. And we can adding some details and now and then we can duplicate the layer from the hand and put it here on the left side, rotate and then name it hand.l and here put it behind the jacket, behind the arm on the left this one, okay this part we can delete 
And then we can adjust a few details here. You can see at the glasses also here. All right. Okay. And now we can add some details like the muscles here, the six pack and the chest muscle. Let's start with that. You can draw a line or you can use this drawing tool here. The opacity we can change a little bit. And this is not the best tool. You can see you can use this one or also this one. This uh, is like a stroke. I think this is good. Here we can change the size. You can see. That looks great. Okay, six pack. Now here, and we change the opacity for every stroke. And then we can edit a few details to the face. Select the head. Now here with the stroke tool. Okay, and then I think, yeah, let's do something at the hair. Also adding some details. Stroke tool and then we can change a little bit here the size and let's do this. Okay. Good, and next we want to uh, group some parts, for example, like all the parts from the head. Now we select everything, make sure that it is everything selected and then here we group. And then we can group the arm and the hand from the right side and also on the left side. Then the leg and foot, the upper body, the muscle shapes and the shot. Okay, and then we select everything, go to export as and then we export it as PNG. This PNG file we use only as a blueprint and then we separate every part from this character. And then we save the project as an SVG file. And in the next tutorial, we want to export every part of this character as PNG files and then we make a rig in Blender. If you found this tutorial was helpful, then just give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then see you in the next tutorial. Bye!